Hello and welcome to another issue of Paper Dolls for My Magic 2 Gates to Another World. This time we're preparing for the, uh, the quest for promoting our paladins. Unfortunately there's not a whole lot of paladins, so we even have to use our extra robber but we'll get to that a bit later. So, uh, as usual, we're starting off with Slickpick, our male neutral gnome rogue. And his inventory really hasn't changed any. Still has the air and large shield plus one, the palladium flail plus seven, the steel quiet sling plus two, and the phosphor bronze chainmail plus five. And he is still level 28. Wow, oh, he has 299 HP. Just one behind 300. And his size stat is luck and 75. Yeah, pretty awesome. So, let's go to our next hireling then. Fumbler, the male good half-orc spy. And he is level 21, with his highest stat being luck at 30. Also, nothing really changed. He still has the Kobold Scale Armor plus 5, the Iron Large Shield plus 1, the Iron Crossbow plus 1, and the Rhodium Acidic Sword plus 6. He's an athlete and a gambler. And he has three gems in his backpack. Good job. <laughs> uh, yeah, so generally the hirelings haven't changed a whole lot because it's much easier to simply uh, not change their inventory since they were on the last quest as well and just update the inventory of the uh, troops that I take into the battle anew. So, um, let's move to the next character already. Shagrath, the male good half-orc spy, level 21. The highest head being luck at 43. And he has also 250 HP, which is not that far behind 300. Hmm. Yeah, since when did we get all that much HP, anyway? So, Shagrath's inventory also didn't change. He has a Cobalt Thieves pick plus 5. Ever since the beginning of the game, the Grey Iron Shield plus 3, the Energy Sling plus 1, the Sapphire Pin, the Jade Dagger plus 15, and the Titanium Scale Armor plus 9. It's a mountaineer and a pickpocket. Yeah, so not a whole lot of changes overall here. Uh, and we don't really get a whole lot of items during these quests, so not a whole lot of things to change the inventory around, really. So let's move on. Ratfink, the male evil gnome assassin. He's back again, and uh, he has a few things that changed. Not a whole lot, but a few things. He's level 19, and his size stat being also 19. Luck. He's a gambler and a pickpocket. In his equipment list, we now have a Palladium Saber plus 7. Not too bad, although I think he had uh, the uh, uh, Battle Axe plus 6 last time, which is pretty similar, really. Then he has the Iron Large Shield plus 1, then and another thing that changed is that now he has a bronze crossbow instead of an iron crossbow plus one. 
A bit of a downgrade, but doesn't matter all that much ultimately. And he still has the same Cobalt Chainmail plus 5 as last time. So that is that. Let's go to the next new hireling that we're taking this time around. Actually, not quite a hireling. The Hermit, the male evil elf assassin. He is a character, but he is our extra robber. And uh, his equipment has changed just very slightly. He's still level 19, and... Uh, well, actually, I think... Last, was he... Was he promoted last time? I don't think he was. So yeah, now he's level 19. And uh, his highest stat is Luck at 21. In his equipment list, we have uh, Rhodium Battle Axe plus 6, a Palladium Padded Armor plus 7. Now he got an upgrade. He has an Iron Crossbow plus 1 instead of a regular crossbow. So basically, they exchanged crossbows with the last person. Um, and he also has that Iron Large Shield plus 1. So, yeah, and since he is a character and not actually a hireling, he doesn't have any skills at all. Hmm. Not sure if I should invest in that or not. Probably I don't need to, so I won't even bother. Alright, so let's go forward to the actual paladins. Starting the paladins off is Boromir, the male good human paladin. Level 16, and his highest stat is Personality at 50. I'm not actually certain if I have shown his latest equipment or not. On my list I still have things checked as not shown on screen. In any case, he has a Ferrochrome Iron Helm plus 4. Still the same. An Agate Grail, which I demoted to being shown as something connected to his belt, because he is kind of out of slots here. Uh, Chromium Great Bow plus 4, a Zirconium Great Hammer plus 8, a Rhodium Splint Mail plus 6, and the last item that Boromir now has, the Iron Phaser plus two. Yes, he now has a phaser, and I intend to keep him equipped with it. Now the thing is that some of the ancient equipment is not really that good. Like, phasers and ray guns only give you accuracy, so they're not that good compared to some of the other things, but just because they're ancient technology, I am intending to keep it equipped on someone at all times. Because it's ancient technology, yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so Boromir is also a soldier and a diplomat. So let's uh, go forward to our new characters that I don't think I've ever shown on screen because we never actually get, got to use them the Paladin Hirelings and both of those people are nobility so first of all we have Sherman the male good human Paladin who is actually also a prince so, he is level 13, with his highest stat being uh, Luck at 25. That's kind of weird for a paladin, but whatever. He's also fairly cheap, 1200 per day, but he is level 13, so it makes sense. And I have him equipped with... 
a chromium plate mail plus four. Again, I have no idea what they mean by plate mail, but that should do. It's a plate with a bit of mail. Uh, then a steel helmet plus two. Then an iron short bow plus one. Well, more like iron tipped short bow plus one. Or a bow with arrows with iron tips. Whatever you prefer. And lastly, the cast iron icicle plus three. Yeah. So that is Sherman. He is also a crusader. Not really uh, strange that he is a crusader, given that he is a prince and uh, he probably gets to hear a lot about quests. And he is surprisingly a merchant. That is really weird because he doesn't need to be a merchant. Hireling merchants make no sense because they get things for free and they cannot buy things themselves. But okay, so let's move to the last character. Red Duke, the male evil human paladin. Level 11, and his highest stat is Might at 21. Again, not very typical for a paladin, although admittedly, paladins do need quite a bit of might. So, <laughs> with the design of Red Duke, I try to have him be compatible, uh, comparable to Sherman. In that, since he is a duke, he still needs to have some poshness to him, but he shouldn't overshadow the prince. So I gave him a cape and some fairly ornate but not too over the top gloves and boots. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I made sure that his uh, style doesn't go too far and is not better than that of the prince since he is not supposed to be allowed to look even more posh than the prince and the prince himself is a pretty simple person so that's what we have in his equipment list we have some very interesting items most notably, the new item that we got just recently, that is the Pseudo Palladium Plate Mail Plus 6. It's supposed to be Rhodium because it's plus 6, but interestingly enough, it's like a silver plate mail plus 6. Interestingly enough, there's actually an alloy, well, sort of an alloy more like a blend of two metals, that is silver and rhodium, which makes it have the properties of palladium, which just so happens to be on my list of alloys that I use to name uh, different armors. Uh, one step above rhodium, so it's like a plus seven, which kind of makes sense even, because silver is better than a simple plate mail plus six. So it's like plate mail plus six plus. <laughs> yeah, so it makes sense and I made the color look as if it was actual palladium. Then next we have the steel helmet plus two. Then the rhodium battle axe plus six. An iron large shield plus one, and lastly the cobalt longbow plus five, a pretty good item. And uh, given that he is the last person, it makes sense for him to be armed with it. So we have a pretty good team overall, the 
lowest level person is Red Duke at level 11, which is still pretty high. So I'm pretty confident that we should be able to do this, although the task is pretty daunting to uh, slay a dragon in probably what is a pretty hostile territory. But we'll get to that once we get to it. So see you all then. Later.